music comes to my head. No, I haven't been writing, it's funny because I haven't been writing, or I haven't been writing period lately. And um, it kind of it kind of sucks just because I, the reason is, is just because I've been so, so busy painting and drawing and I've been kind of intimidated by like, like performers and other bands and other shows I've been seeing where I'm just like, I kind of self-doubt you know, like overthink something, you're like, oh, that song sucks. And then you go see a show and you're like, oh, I can do this, I've done this before. And then you'll come back to your, your guitar and you'll just be like, it's all been done. And then you'll throw your guitar down and, and then watch some torrent that you downloaded, some movie that sucked, wasn't worth the download. And then you're like, all right, let me, let me try to write another song or let me draw a picture. And you start drawing a picture and you're like, oh, this is pretty cool. And then you find out you accidentally got coffee with caffeine in it and then you start losing your mind this is what i've been doing when i'm not writing songs or when i'm not playing music i've been just making art kind of just every day uh, whether it's you know uh, watercolor or you know pen and ink Let's see if I can find it, and then you can see how I changed it up. Oh, see, here you go. This guy, crazy dude with a bird, looking all funny, good face. So I, I see that, I'm like, awesome, cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that bird and make it like an angel bird. So I just redrew him, and then he reposted that. And you know, he wrote, I got sketched, so dope. I thought that was pretty cool, so I got some good, you know, little exposure that way. The thing about art is just like you can just make it completely a networking tool too. You just draw it, send it to somebody and they'll love it. They, they think it's great. Um, even if it's a really bad picture, people will just repost something that looks like god awful. Like it, to the equivalent of, you know, when you see those terrible tattoos and you're like, oh my god, they got a picture of their son on their chest and it, it looks like a rotting jack-o'-lantern. It does not look like their kid. Yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, bad art is still art. Bad faces are still, you're still getting, uh, you know, you're still getting mad props for bad faces. I didn't even write a copyright date. Um, I recorded it. Uh, it's called These Are Ducks. This was my very first, like, you know, uh, all the tracks done with the intention of, like, this is all going to be on an album. And, and that was just, like, go to it and, 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 and just ever since then, I've been just kind of, like, distracted. And, and if you sit on too many songs for too long, you, you kind of don't like them. And, and nothing will be released, and it's just not a good, it's not a good uh, plan of attack. You always want to be releasing something, and I've been talking to a lot of people about that, where you overthink an album, and you think it, you want it to be like a masterpiece, something amazing, but when, in reality, it's just a moment, it's just a snapshot of what you were doing in your life at that moment, that, you know, a little small vignette of what was going on in your mind, what was going on in your heart, your job, if you were poor, where you were living, what you were wearing, what you were eating, who you were talking to, what you were dreaming, what were you thinking, what were you watching, what were you, you know, listening to, just everything, kind of, just a whole bunch of stuff in a bowl. My life philosophy, I'm gonna go with, um, just keep making stuff and don't get discouraged that other people are faster than you. You go at your own pace and you block that shit out and you bite at that golden apple and, and you'll get a good, good, good uh, feeling. All right.